Hi, Maria here. Welcome to my channel. Today, I'm excited to do a bonus video on a very exciting fragrance that I was very, very fortunate to receive. But before I get started, if you haven't subscribed, just go ahead and hit that button. Join the Weird and Wonderful family. It would be amazing to have you part of the community. If you already are a part of the community, thank you so much. You guys are so amazing. And without further ado, let's get into this. So the fragrance I have to share with you is this beauty. I am so, so pumped. Now, full disclosure, I actually reached out to Roja. One of the ways that I can continue to bring you guys uh, diverse content is by actually receiving PR. I reached out to them and they were gracious enough to send me a fragrance. So thank you so much, Roja. I really appreciate the gift. Now, uh, talking about how the, the package comes, it comes in a beautiful black uh, Roja box with uh, gold lettering on it. Very posh, very nice. Uh, I think that's one of the things that I really enjoy about the Roja Lion is just his whole brand is very, very exclusive feeling, very luxury. It's just really exciting. So anyway, inside the black box, uh, all nestled in some beautiful paper is your lovely fragrance. Now, it also came with a thank you card, which is always a nice touch, and then some postcards uh, advertising the Isola blue fragrance and the notes on the Isola blue fragrance actually look really appealing. So uh, that was kind of a neat little advertisement. Um, and anyway, here's the fragrance. It comes in this gold, kind of gold on the sides, a little gold thing. What I think is so cool is you press on that and the fragrance comes up uh, all nestled in satin. And really, I love when fragrances are nestled in satin. Like, any time a fragrance is nestled in satin, it just feels special. The fragrance is Enigma, and this is an Essence de Parfum pour Femme. So it comes in this beautiful purple bottle. It's got the little diamonds. I'll put an insert so you can see a close-up. Uh, Roja Dove's signature is on the side of the cap and also the top of the cap, which is really cool. Uh, beautiful purple color, very classy bottle. The cap is exceptionally heavy, which I love. And then look at this atomizer. Look at that. I love when atomizers are high quality. So the spray comes out beautiful. It's a gorgeous mist. Um, when you are paying the price that you're paying for these, you want a decent atomizer. You want every component to be stellar. So I'm very, very impressed with the quality, the care, the weight of the bottle, just beautiful. I'm gonna tell you the notes. The top notes are bergamot, mandarin, and lemon. The heart notes are geranium, rose de mai, neroli, jasmine de grass, ylang ylang, heliotrope, and peach. And then the base has patchouli, sandalwood, vanilla, orris, ambergris, and musk. I wanna tell you what I get out of the fragrance now. Um, I don't know if this is an actual category, but I would consider this a fresh floral. Although there's peach in there, I wouldn't consider it overly fruity. It's also not overly sweet. So it's a beautiful fresh floral that I think works perfectly in the spring and the summer. Uh, I get the Rose de Mai paired with a little bit of white flowers in the opening. I don't really notice that bergamot, mandarin, or lemon at all. That said, there is a freshness to the fragrance which I think is coming from those top notes. Uh, as it dries down, I start to notice a little bit more of that ylang ylang paired with the peach. And then deeper in the dry down, I really notice the vanilla and the musk. So sandalwood is noted as one of the prominent base notes. I'm getting more of that vanilla musky feel. Now, as far as patchouli is concerned, a lot of you, a lot of you wonder about patchouli uh, or not, are not a fan of the patchouli. I don't really get patchouli at all in this. What I mainly get is just a beautiful, bright, airy, floral fragrance with a peach undertone. I think it's really gorgeous. I think it's beautifully blended, so I'm not really noticing all the notes. So although I did break the notes down for you, what I get is just an overall vibe on the skin. So if I'm really paying attention, I notice all these things. Uh, but on the skin, it just smells like a beautifully blended, feminine floral fragrance. Very elegant, very well put together. You could wear this as a signature scent or an everyday fragrance for sure, uh, but it definitely smells luxe enough that you could wear it uh, for a special occasion for sure. It's more of a daytime fragrance in my opinion, so it's not overly sultry. It's just very feminine and elegant. Now you guys know that 
if a fragrance really speaks to me, I get a story. And I got a story for this one. The woman in this story, her father made purses for a living and they lived in a very small village. And although his bags were very high quality and exclusive, his shop was rather modest and they lived a modest life. Now she went away to college and she met this amazing man who came from a very, very wealthy home. Now, uh, she fell head over heels in love with him, and he was amazing. He's very charming, uh, very full of life, very energizing to be around. He was conflicted because she didn't come from money. He did, and he wasn't sure how his family would respond. So he would not fully commit. And so, although it was difficult, she realized that she was worth more than having to wait. And so she chose to walk away. So she finished off her education, came back to help her father grow his handbag business into a multi-million dollar empire. So doing very, very well, she ran the company. It, she took it way further than her father could have ever imagined. 20 years pass and that's where this fragrance comes in. Her love from 20 years ago contacts her and wants to get together with her and just kind of reminisce. And she thought, why not? She'd never married. Uh, and she thought, who knows, maybe there's something there still. So she stays in the Savoy. She's in a luxury suite. It's very beautiful, very posh. It's early in the morning. She's just gotten out of the shower. She's wrapped in this big, beautiful bathrobe, really fluffy. She goes and sits at this little tiny table, opens up her windows, she can smell the blossoms on the air. It's very green, it's warm. She can hear the birds singing in the trees. She eats her breakfast of this delicious buttery croissant with peach preserves. After she's done, she puts on a beautiful blouse, perfectly tailored linen pants, and then she sprays Enigma on. She smells elegant and sophisticated and goes out to meet her love. They spend the weekend together and everywhere she walks, there's this beautiful trail of florals and just a slight whisper of peach on the air. He's not only intoxicated by her fragrance, but he's intoxicated by her, her beauty, her intelligence, her love for life. They have the most amazing weekend of reminiscing. They go shopping, they go dancing, they eat food. It's just a beautiful time. He realizes just how much he let go when he didn't commit to her in the first place. And so the weekend is drawing to a close. They're taking this beautiful walk and they start to go over this bridge and he stops her, he grabs her hand, he turns her into him and he starts to confess his love to her. And as she's listening, she realizes that as wonderful as he is, he's charming, he's fun to be around, he's intelligent, he's so beautiful to look at. But as he talks, she realizes that she's grown so far beyond him. As amazing as he is, she's so much more and she deserves so much more. So as he wraps up his confession of love, she kisses him on the mouth. She leans in and she whispers in his ear, you are such an amazing man, but this isn't meant to be. And with that, she turns and walks away. And all he's left with is her intoxicating trail. That's my story. Like, I totally, like, I love this fragrance. It's absolutely beautiful. It's well-rounded. The peach is beautiful. It's bright. It's light. It's airy. It's elegant. I really enjoy it. The only thing that I'll say about this for a negative is, and I know this is an essence to parfum, but it really doesn't last as long as I would hope. So, I get about four hours out of it, becomes a skin scent at about three, four hour mark. So the although the projection is great just to begin with, it quickly becomes a skin scent. Now as a skin scent, it lasts about six hours. Like I can smell it for quite a long time on my skin if I go like this. But as far as having a scent bubble is concerned, it doesn't last that long. That said, it's just a really fun, beautiful, elegant fragrance. I'm so excited to have it, but the longevity on this is definitely not where I would love it to be. Overall, I think it's a beautiful fragrance. I'll definitely be wearing it a lot in the spring and summer. It's one of those fragrances, you know when I wanna smell put together, I've talked about this before, where I wanna smell put together uh, and classy and like I've got my act together. 
this would fit in that category. The thing that I like about this is there's a bit more sweetness than my normal floral. So I like the sweetness that that peach adds, that the vanilla adds, uh, and I like the freshness of this fragrance somehow. Definitely glad to have this. Very, very thankful. Again, thanks to Roja. I think that Roja Dove is a bit of a genius when it comes to the aesthetic of his brand. He's really done a fantastic job at the posh aesthetic that he has and marketing that exclusive factor. The bottles are absolutely stunning. The whole aesthetic of the brand being very luxurious, very exclusive, he's done that perfectly. So definitely recommend you checking it out. Yes, the price tag is high, but the whole experience is pretty amazing and I'm very excited to have been able to try them. They do have discovery sets that are rather reasonable. I think they're $60 US. So a, a, a whole variety of ones that you can try. Definitely uh, given the price tag, I would recommend you purchasing a discovery kit uh, prior <laughs> to, to buy, like don't blind buy these. Well, do if you really like the risk, but uh, I definitely would highly recommend doing the discovery kits. But overall, such a fun experience. Such, I, I love my story. Like I wanna write a book on this chick now. <laughs> Anyway, that is it. Thank you again to Roja for sending this perfume my way. I really appreciate it. Have you tried any Roja fragrances? If you have, please leave it in the comments. I would love to hear your thoughts. And other than that, I hope you have an amazing week and we'll talk to you soon.